Hi, I'm Rick Zanotti for Relate Corporation, and this is another Captivate Quick Tip. In this one, we're going to talk about multiple actions. Captivate 4 introduced the concept of multiple actions upon entry into a slide or other areas. In this case, if we enter into a slide, we've got several options. When you come in, the default is to continue the uh, timeline. Now you can also scroll down to the bottom of this and here you have multiple actions. Now to launch the multiple actions you click on the ellipsis here and you can do all of these things. You can assign a value to a variable, you can decrement the value of a variable, you can disable an object on the screen or enable it, you can execute external JavaScript as needed, you can hide objects, you can increment the value of a variable, you can open uh, other projects, which are Captivate projects. Uh, you can also jump to a URL or a different file on your server. You can send email to someone and you can show a particular object. Now the beauty of the multiple actions is that you can chain many of these together. So when you come into a particular slide, you may want to add values to variables, check things off, execute something. All of this can be done in one fell swoop. And as you add them, they'll show up here on the right-hand column. And down here is where you put all the assignments and variables and everything else that you're doing. Real powerful feature. If you haven't used it, I recommend you take a look at it. So that's multiple actions in Captivate 4. For Captivate Quick Tips, I'm Rick Zanotti with Relate.